Your little child is sometimes your favorite. So to the extent that you are not as big as a Maralco or a PLDT, we still pay attention to you because we enjoy going to Palatagan and San Juan and Laia, right? From a tourism standpoint, Galatagan and Laia and San Juan provide the tourist spots that help people enjoy themselves. No? We're not into the traditional real estate company that builds high-rise or horizontal developments, say local house. We're not focusing really on, on leisure, building leisure communities. No? The first major project was Punto Fego, in joint venture with the family of uh, Pedro Rojas. No? It's out there in Batangas. And that was a community to eventually, it was eventually evolved into first class, second home kind of community out there in Batangas. It's an excellent piece of property and a very successful project for the Philippines. Metro Pacific Investments was formed to be a holding company investing in infrastructure projects that are needed by the Philippines. No? And that, that precisely defines the role and the responsibility of Metro Pacific in relation to the country and to nation building. Uh, so we've invested in, in power through Meralco, which is the biggest power company in the country. That is since, Meralco since expanded into outside of distribution to generation and is making major investments in gas plants and solar plants. No? We've also invested in tollways, which is essentially an enabler of businesses and communities to generate effective and efficient mobility of our people as they move from places to places, be it home to work, work to home, or even from home to places of tourism. It's easy enough for Metro Pacific to build tollways that could lead to those tourist destinations. For example, our resorts in Batangas, in Calatagan and San Juan and Laia could be reached with tollways that we have built in the south. A bit more challenging are the tourist spots in Visayas and Mindanao. Albeit we built the largest bridge in the Philippines, which is Cebu, which facilitates the movement of people and goods between the island of Cebu and the island of Mactan. And the international airport is in Mactan. So that's where we could help in terms of providing the relevant mobilities to our people. Obstacles that confront the growth of the Philippine economy is really identifying those businesses that bring jobs to our people. I've always considered poverty as the real enemy of the Philippines. And the answer to that is quite simple, it's jobs. No? And the, most of our poor people are located in the rural areas. Landco performs a role, an important role in nation building because to the extent that it can develop hopefully a nationwide network of resorts and leisure communities, then we're doing a bit to help the economy and, and build this nation. Right?